we're looking at some concepts here in regard to space and orbit and planets. So the escape velocity. If I am this AirPods case and I am on planet softball and I want to leave the planet, all right, the escape velocity is the lowest velocity which the AirPod case must have in order to escape the gravitational pull or attraction of planet softball. Um, we'll say that planet softball, it doesn't have a lot of mass, so it's going to have a, a pretty low escape velocity, but the numbers are crazy. Um, the escape velocity for Earth is 25,000 miles per hour. Now, since that number doesn't even mean anything, 25,000 miles per hour is ridiculously fast, right? It's seven miles per second. So think about something that's seven miles away from the school. Maybe like Walmart's probably like four or five, but think about getting to Walmart in less than a second. And it's, it's still faster than that. Um, the earth has a lot of mass. If you were on the moon, it's a little bit less. Um, there's less mass, less gravitational pull. Um, the moon's escape velocity is just a little over 5,000 miles per hour. So you can understand that that's a lot. If commercial planes fly between 300 and 500 miles per hour, this is like 10 times that. So that's escape velocity. Then we have orbit. All right. Orbit, we've already talked about a little bit, but um, it's this curved path uh, in which AirPods, in this case, um, if, they, if they make it up into orbit, are in... Uh, around planet softball or move it's the path that they take all right and this especially refers to um, something that's periodical something that happens repeatedly um, and then happens not remember in a perfect circle that's very rare but more in these like in these elliptical shapes in the ellipses okay so in order to get to orbit you need orbital velocity um, and leaving Earth, we said the escape velocity was like 25,000 miles. To just get up into Earth's orbit, um, it takes about 7,000 miles worth of, worth of effort, worth of power. So um, these rockets that fire satellites, that fire space shuttles, people up into outer space, um, those things, that the fastest rocket that's ever launched, um, I think it currently has a... A satellite that, that went by Jupiter, I think, launched at like 36,000 miles per hour. So humans can create some very fast things. Um, but to get something up into, into orbit um, and to maintain that orbit, the orbital velocity is about 7,000 miles per hour. Um, and that's so that um, you keep, you're moving fast enough that your force is not allowing the the planet or whatever body to just pull you back in. You're moving fast enough to kind of stay on the outskirt, to stay in orbit. If your orbital speed slowed down, then you would eventually like circle around and then kind of crash back in, uh, whether you'd burn up in the atmosphere or crash back down to the planet. Okay, um, Earth has an orbital speed around the sun of like 60,000 miles an hour. And we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. So we're like hurling through space. And if we slowed down, it'd be bad news bears. Um, trajectory is simply the path, and we'll use this in the gizmo, um, uh, that's followed by an object. So if, if I'm uh, like shooting AirPods out and I go pew, and they land over here in another country, the trajectory is the path of which it followed. And then velocity, it is speed, but it's speed with direction. And that's what's important to know about velocity. It's, it's 57 miles per hour traveling west, not just the number 57 miles per hour. My cats are going crazy, so it's time for me to go.